So somebody mentioned speed because I did uh, several exams in one hour and they're a new tech. Um, it's good to worry about speed. You know, obviously you want quality over quantity, but try to find a happy medium between the two. Uh, I'm very fast. I've been doing it for a long time, but I'm also a hyper person and everybody's different, right? Normal studies, you're going to do them faster because there's no pathology. You're just going to go through the protocol, make sure you don't miss anything and you'll be done. So let's go over a couple cases I did. We'll do the pelvic first. Started at 7.09 and ended it at 7.11. Three minutes, not, you know, not too bad. Uh, we can, let's go over the appendix. Uh, this one was positive, so it probably took a little longer, but it's not gonna be much longer either. At 9 p.m., 9.08. So about eight minutes, and that's with pathology, that's with measuring. Turning the patient sideways, you know, left letter to cubitus, putting color Doppler, power Doppler, all that stuff. So, you know, for the new text, speed will come with time. I know sonographers that scanned for 30 years and were very slow, but they were very good. So, yeah, they'd take 30 minutes scanning a gallbladder, but if there was anything wrong with that gallbladder, you best be sure they're going to find it. So, quality, but also try to work on speed. Here's another example. This is an exam that my student recently did. And she took 30 minutes to do this exam. Now, that's pretty fast for a student. But on top of that, her images were really, really, really good. I was very happy. Now, she did uh, have a little bit of trouble with the pancreas, you know, like as we do. And she didn't notice the, the beaver tail liver in this case. But I was able to show her that. Which, that's pretty cool because now she knows what that looks like and what to expect in the future. So here's one I did around the same time. Abdomen complete, about 101 images. I started at 1135. So there was also an area of increased echogenicity at liver segment four, most likely focal fatty infiltration. So I had to take extra images of that with color Doppler, transverse images. Again, the echogenic area right there, transverse. There's the pancreas, look pretty nice with color Doppler. Gallbladder was beautiful. Sagittal and transverse images. Count CBD. Now you see we only measure the kidneys in, in longitudinal. Most places measure it in you know length, width, and height. We only do it longitudinal here. Spleen looked perfect. Color Doppler. Once I did the upper abdomen, I, I go down to the lower abdomen. Now this patient had a full bladder, so I took advantage. Uh, you'll see that it's a prepubertal -pub, pre uh, uterus and ovaries, but I take a bunch of images of the uterus and ovaries with color Doppler. Just in case they go back to the ER, the patient urinates, and then I don't have a full bladder to get those images. So you see we have... Uh, speed but we also have quality these images are not bad i also do the the lower quadrants make sure there's no appendicitis uh and then i take some linear images of that focal echogenic area which is most likely fatty infiltration finish the exam at 11:44, so nine minutes so for sonographers or anyone performing ultrasounds speed is important but it's not the only factor quality is a big factor too so try to find a happy medium between the two one more thing to consider that the faster you are, the more they're going to want you to do. So if you work in a department with a lot of people and you're doing three exams to everybody's one, you're going to be doing more. And, you know, more work can lead to burnout. So that's also something to consider. So I'm fast by nature. Even I, my old boss used to tell me, Henry, you have to slow down. You're over performing. You're doing too much. I can't personally because I just don't know how to. But just keep that in your mind about, especially if you work in an outpatient clinic, they want you to just churn out exams like if you're a machine. All right, so I hope this video is helpful. Bye.